Hi, my name's Chris Gray. I'm the executive chef of Lillian Bloom. I'm pretty confident about today's challenge. Uh, I did a few 7-Eleven runs to get my lay of the land, familiarize myself with the ingredients. Try to stretch it to two dishes today. We're gonna be doing a ramen gnocchi with barbecue chicken leg, and we're gonna do some deep fried Oreos as well. You gotta be respectful and wipe your feet. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys prefer with your deep fried Oreos? Vanilla? What are our options? Then we'll go with vanilla. Oh, perfect. Oh, we don't want blueberry. Barbecue chicken legs. Right Let's see what I might have to ditch if we don't have enough money. Uh, we got everything I needed. Um, we got two ramen packets, barbecue chicken leg, some yogurt to finish off the sauce, Oreos, ice cream to stuff the Oreos, bread, you can deep fry them. All right, we just got back from the market and picked up all the ingredients we need for today. So now we're just kind of getting everything measured out so we can make the gnocchis. So now that we've, we've just brought this up to, to just a boil, we're actually gonna pull it off the heat and we're gonna crack in these noodles, break them up. So now we're ready to blend it. So it's just been going for, like I said, only about a minute. We're gonna add this into the blender. Now we're gonna take about a cup of the cooking liquid. I know it doesn't sound pretty, but it's, it's normal. All right, I know that sounded painful. Uh, um, from here, I'm just gonna season it with a little bit more salt. We're gonna throw that mixture into just a plastic disposable piping bag. We're gonna cut the tip off, and we're gonna drop it into the boiling water. We will have to just throw it in the fridge for about one or two minutes. Since we're kind of making a ramen it's we're making to a gnocchi, but because we're using the ramen, I, I want to pair it with a soft cooked egg. The next step after this is once we, we cool down the egg, we're gonna cook the gnocchis in the same boiling water. So what we want to do is we just want to get the right size hole so we get kind of not a too thick, but not a too thin gnocchi. And I'll usually just drop one in first just to make sure we're the right consistency. And it also helps too if we add just a, a little bit of olive oil. So now we'll do about 20 at a time. Try to move around so they don't drop on the same spot and they don't stick together. Okay, so now we're just gonna start pulling them out. This is actually something that uh, I find that could be pretty easy to make at home if you're having friends over, you wanna pop down to a convenience store and it's something that you could just easily make. So now that these are all out, we're just gonna have to pop these in the fridge. So the nice thing about these chicken legs is you can just open them and they come in this bag. We're just gonna let it sit in this kind of just warm water for about five, 10 minutes. It's been warmed through and the sauce is, is kind, of, kind of melted, the gelatin. Just be able to pull the meat right off the bones. We're gonna take just this meat and the juice, save the bones or if you wanna make a soup. Okay, let it reduce a little bit. A touch of yogurt, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, let that come together. So at this point, we're a bit thick, creamy from the, from the yogurt. We're gonna add that leg meat. And this is gonna become the protein and the sauce for the bottom of the plate. And then we're gonna put the gnocchi on top of that after. And at this point, we're ready to pull the gnocchis out of the fridge. So these are cooled down enough at this point. Kind of work with them, make sure they're not stuck together. So we're getting really nice and hot here. So we're gonna start to drop these in. Should be enough. You see, so I get a little bit of nice brown color here. Okay, let them go for about a minute or two, just get, get a nice golden brown on the outside. And then we're ready to plate the dish. So we're gonna start with taking some of that chicken leg with the chicken sauce and, and yogurt reduction. We get all that sauce in there as well. On top of that, there we're gonna take one of the eggs that we cooked right in the middle. And I always like to finish this with a little bit of salt on top of the egg. And lastly, crispy noodles. And that's it. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some deep fried Oreos, everyone's childhood favorite. So we're gonna separate the creamy side and the non-creamy side. If it breaks, we got plenty more. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our ice cream. We're just gonna scoop out just a little bit and place it on each cookie. So now we're just gonna take the normal white sandwich bread. We're gonna put together each Oreo. We're just gonna brush a little bit of eggs on here just so it helps it seal together. Then we put another piece on top, smush it together, kind of find where your cookie is and punch it out with the ring mold. So you have in the center is Oreo, a little bit of white bread. We're gonna dip it bread back in there so you kinda got a, a little bit of like a French toast and Oreo combination. 
push together if you can, seal the, um, seal the Oreo inside, and then we're gonna go right to the hot oil. You wanna give about each side 30 seconds to a minute, just so you get nice and brown. Perfect. So that was kind of like a trend uh, in America not too long ago. So I kind of wanted to create kind of an American dessert for you. 